Let's do an unboxing of sorts today, guys. Welcome to the Bruce Williams channel. Here on the desk in front of the camera is a classic white IWC box. Now it's taken me, you know, years to get to this point, but I finally added an IWC to the rotation. So let me open this up and show you what I've purchased. I did trade one of my watches. I added some cash and I came home with this Pilot Chronograph 41. And it's a beautiful watch that I will explain why I like this and why I chose this watch as opposed to a couple other excellent IWC models that have also captured my attention. So shout out to the watch exchange company. I had a very smooth transaction with Matt. I would definitely do business with him again. And this is in no way a sponsored review or presentation. Now getting to the watch, the first thing that you'll notice is the excellent crisp clarity, the detail work, the color play, the anti-reflective treatment, and the overall finishing, the fit, the finesse, the weight. In my opinion, this is one of the more complete luxury packages on the market. This watch does not have any glaring negative aspects, in my opinion, and it's an improvement over the, you know, the discontinued 43 millimeter version, the Le Petit Prince Chronograph, in every aspect outside of one element that we'll get to here in a minute. But I like the fact that IWC has reworked this design. They've scaled it down a little bit. At 41 millimeters, it is ideal on my 7.25 inch wrist. It does not feel too diminutive and has an excellent presence about it. Again, you notice that detail work. You notice the crispness. You notice the color play, the anti-reflective treatment, the light play on this tapering bracelet, and this excellent clasp that carries an extension system, a micro extension system that is also utilized by Glasshutta Original and A Lange und Zona. So really well engineered. You'll see that there are no screw links here. There are no pin and tube system, no holes on the side of these links. Uh, you'll have to utilize a special tool that IWC provides in the box in order to add links or take links away from this very well engineered bracelet. So a lot of light play, a lot of color play, a lot of weight, and it's just one of those watches that I don't know if it comes across in pictures or even here in this unboxing video, but in person, it really captures the eye and you notice this and it's impressive. And at least for me, it makes me want to wear it because I like everything about it. And it also makes me want to purchase other IWC models because this is technically considered one of their more entry-level watches, and it is a heck of a watch to introduce a consumer to this brand that I think is a little bit underrated. This brand comes out with sports pieces, they work with exotic materials, but then they also do refined pieces. They work in noble metals, they do grand complications, they really do quite a lot. And I think they do it impressively. Now, let me tell you what I think is better about this than the previous version, which again, I've been tempted by over the years. And looking back retrospectively, I'm glad I held off because this 41 millimeter variation, it's just a little bit better. The smaller size, the in-house movement with the column wheel chronograph, the vertical clutch, it uh, has a similar power reserve, but it's very well dialed in five position adjustment and very tasteful finishing with the circular Geneva striping, the micro perlage work, the skeletonized rotor. We have a bi-directional Paul winding system. We have some really nice tech goodies here with crisp actuation of this movement of this chronograph. And again, the accuracy has, has been dead on since I've purchased it. This will have a subsidiary seconds complication, elapsed minutes, elapsed hours, and a day-date complication at the three o'clock on the dial side. Very crisp, defined graining in the blue here, a nice shade of blue. And I love that iridescent blue sheen of the anti-reflective treatment when you see direct reflections coming off and hitting the crystal, like the can lights in this room coming off of the crystal right now. So it's a beautiful watch, great movement, a little bit smaller, a little bit more palatable, increased water resistance compared to the 43 millimeter Le Petit Prince. And this one has a tapering bracelet from 20 down to 18 millimeters. So uh, very wearable, very comfortable, 
as opposed to the non-tapering 21 millimeter bracelet of the 43 millimeter IWC Le Petit Prince. So again, an upgrade outside of the anti-magnetic properties. That previous version carried a soft iron shield over the movement to protect against magnetic flux. And this one has no marketed anti-magnetic properties. But again, outside of that, it is an upgrade in every other avenue. But again, it's one of those watches that is just so satisfying in person, and it makes you want to wear it all the time, and it makes you want to look at other IWC models. Now, just in closing, let me take off my uh, Tudor Black Bay Chrono. I have the Panda Variation, and we'll do a quick side-by-side -side here. Because the Tudor, I, you know, I think this is the best chronograph that you can buy at around $5,000. I think it retails for about 53 right now on the bracelet. But unfortunately, it is a waitlist item. It is very hard to come by at an authorized dealer, and you will not be able to obtain any type of discount on this watch. You compare this to the IWC, which will retail for about $2,000 more on the bracelet. And again, I definitely recommend going with the bracelet. It really completes this watch and takes the aura of the watch up a notch. But again, it's a little bit more expensive. What do you get for that premium? Well, you get good anti-reflective treatment. That makes a big difference. You get crisper, nicer dial detail work. You get a better bracelet. You get better case finishing. You get a micro extension system in the clasp, which the Tudor will not have. And this one, you can see the movement through an exhibition crystal, a great in-house movement that IWC designs and produces themselves. The Tudor will have more water resistance, a longer power reserve, better loom, and more anti-magnetic properties with its silicon hairspring. Uh, but you guys can see, stacking the two side by side, the IWC is bringing a strong value at that price segment that it plays in. And the nice thing is, you can find these in an authorized dealer. This is considered one of the entry models, one of the entry sport models with IWC, so it's meant to be an inclusive experience that introduces you to the brand and uh, you know makes you want to experience more models as <laughs> is evident with me. I'm falling victim to that right now. So uh, yeah, available and you can get discounts from an authorized dealer. So that's a positive in the favor of the IWC. But guys, reach out with any questions you might have. I will do a full detailed review of the Pilot Chronograph 41 so if there's something you would like me to cover, let me know what it is, and I'd do my best to oblige and help out. Again, shout out Watch Exchange Company, specifically Matt. Great, smooth transaction. Would definitely do business with him again, and all links will be in the description of the video. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you next time. 